Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be telling you the two main ways that index funds make money. Thanks for visiting my channel Free Your Finance. My name's Gary and I'm documenting my journey towards financial independence. I speak about investing, property and savings, so if this sounds like something you might like to hear a bit more about, please hit the subscribe button below. So for those of you that have watched my channel before, you will know I'm a huge fan of index funds and often my friends ask me, well how do they make you money? For any of you that are not sure what an index fund is, it's a collection of stocks that are put together in one fund that aim to replicate the performance of the market index. Don't worry if this doesn't make any sense to you at all or you would like some further information on this, I'd recommend you clicking on the link above and watching my video, What is an Index Fund? Then when you're ready, come back to this video and we'll go through how you can make some money from owning one. For today's video, I'm going to be using Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol VUSA, for my example. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be referring to this as VUSA. This fund holds 508 companies aiming to track the performance of the S&P 500 index. With this particular fund, you have to buy in increments of one whole unit on Vanguard's platform. You're buying a small piece of 508 of the largest companies in America. Surely this is going to be very expensive. Actually, it's not as expensive as you may think. At the time of recording this, the price for one unit is £46.62. Yes, we only get a tiny, tiny bit of each company, but for that price, we're buying into the 508 companies that make up that index fund. So let's say, for argument's sake, you had £2,000 to invest right now in that fund. Your £2,000 at time of recording would buy you 42 units at a cost of £1,958.04p. This leaves you a small amount of surplus cash of £41.96. Don't worry, we're going to come back to that amount later in this video. So there are two main ways you will make money by owning this index fund. The first way you'll make money is hoping that the value of your units increase over time. As we all know the stock market is a very volatile place and there's a good chance that your units could go both up and down in value. For example if we'd invested our £2,000 in that same fund on the 23rd of June at a point during that day a cost of one unit was actually more expensive at a cost of £47.56p. Therefore our £2,000 would have still just about bought us 42 units of this fund. However this time at a more expensive cost of £1,997.50 52p. This means if we bought five days ago, our fund would currently have lost us £39.48p, roughly 2%. Obviously, this is not good news in just five days. However, as I always promote, index fund investing should be a long-term strategy in my opinion. So instead, let's now say you invested your £2,000 five years ago. Back on the 3rd of July 2015, one unit of that fund would have cost you just £25.32. This means means your £2,000 would have bought you 78 units of that fund at a cost of £1,974.96p. So if we imagine we'd held those units for five years until today's price, our 78 units are now valued at £3,636.36p, an impressive increase of £1,661. Please do bear in mind you need to take into consideration you would have been charged fees during that time. Time. There is an ongoing fee for holding the fund of 0.07% and if you held your fund with Vanguard, they charge a platform fee of 0.15% too. This would have slightly reduced your profits, which is why we always aim for our fees to be as low as possible. Personally, I think Vanguard do a great job for this. So now on to number two, the second way you will make money from your index fund. Some index funds pay a dividend at various points of the year. Certain funds, often known as accumulation funds, automatically reinvest this dividend for you, so you'll never receive that payment. However, other funds, often known as income funds, pay you a dividend at various points of the year. At the time of recording this video, VUSA currently pays out a dividend yield of 1.63% per year. This dividend is paid quarterly However, for easy maths for this video, we're going to say we receive that dividend as a one-off yearly payment. So now, let's imagine we had a fund with a value of £5,000. That means we'd receive roughly £81.50 per year just for holding that fund. That dividend will now sit in your account as cash alongside any other spare change you had from previous transactions. Remember that £41.96 I said I was going to come back to? Well, I'm back. So that previous amount wasn't quite enough to buy an additional unit of our index fund. 
However, now, once the dividend payment has been added to that, we now have enough to buy an additional unit of our fund. This effect is something known as compound growth and is a really exciting part of owning index funds. It's the fact that your earned money then goes back into your fund to earn you more money. This gets much faster and much more exciting later down the line in years to come when you've got a larger portfolio balance. So these were the two main ways you can earn money from index funds. I must say I explained today's video in quite a basic form however I didn't want to make the video too confusing. This gives you the basic idea of how your index fund is going to make you money over time. If you found today's video helpful please click that like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this along with videos of me documenting my journey towards financial independence please click the subscribe button below. Hopefully I'll see you very soon on one of my next videos. Take care!